So what are you doing, Aiden? I'm calling a beekeeper supply place. Have any luck? No, not yet. <laughs> and the makeshift and beekeeper's the, outfit. Get under there and do our emergency tracheostomy right about here. Right here. And probably some duct tape. We could duct tape the shirt to the uh, socket. Sock Have you got like two of them on? No, just, just one. one. Just one. Do you have a? Do you have another one? Sure. Look at that part of your nose exposed. Yeah. Well, you're the complete outfit now. Beekeeper or a ninja? The year two thousand. The year twelve hundred. Trying again? Trying someplace else. <laughs> Just ringing and ringing. You don't think the costume will work? I don't think the costume will work. <laughs> Do you know it's waiting outside? You got an idiot here. Then well, this should be pretty quick. And they're not oh. they're not moving around. I mean they're not aggressive. We don't know where we're at with the bees yet, do we? Not that I know of. Oh, really? Yeah. They like light colors. There's little flowers all over your pants. Hey, you need to go like that. Look like I'm going skiing. <laughs> or farming something. Mm -hmm. They don't like dark colors, huh? <laughs> Probably overheat from the temperature. Now what they're going to do is get down inside there, down in your pants. You better put another jacket on. What does Kato think of all this? Sting me. I don't see how. The only way is if they penetrate the layer somehow and it gets, you know, in between layers. Up down once, grab the queen, grab the queen, put the frames in the right place, drop the queen in there, put the whole box of bees open down inside there. Meet rock in the way. You're covered, that's all you need. Where are we going to put the bees? Bring it up even. Some of this comb is pretty crooked, I'm sure I'll like that. I think maybe before I do anything else, I'm going to get some stainless steel wire and see if I can straighten this out. This is the way this will work. Okay. It's the queen excluder. <laughs> that will allow the queen to stay down below and the other bees to be able to get through and come up to the top to store honey in the super box. It's an EpiPen, epinephrine auto injector. It's for allergic emergencies, anaphylaxis. Where do you get that from? I don't know. 
It's intramuscular. <laughs> ah, it's prescription, EpiPen. Well, that was a good idea. At least he did. How old is it? It's new. Oh, I just got Four it. seven. Hmm. and I walked up and there was just <laughs> bees flying everywhere around the, the building. What you doing, Dan? Not sure what to call it. He's embedding the support wire in the wax. What you doing? Shut up. What do you call that? Uh, impregnation. <laughs> Your ferro wax impregnating stuff, Amy. You better watch out. Come on, you piece of crap. <laughs> well, that's recorded for posterity. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's old ladies there, and they don't give a crap. They pull out their, they wait in line for 20 minutes and they pull out their checkbook as soon as I get to the front. And then there's young girls that are at the register and, you know, they care even less. Sign their names with curly cues. And little hearts over them and stuff. <laughs> You have the anal flagellant stuff? What's it called? EpiPen. Epinephrine. Uh, it's for anaphylaxis. Oh, okay. I thought there was something here. You just flipped it and you guys had control of it. Do you remember? Was it dialed or a button? It seemed like you dialed it too. That's what I thought I remember. Well, it was all pasture all those years, you know. for 
disaster. Radioactive bees that I was stung by. I have the ability to walk on walls and secrete oh, hormones. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we need to get out of here, don't we? I'm not afraid oh, of a if bee. You, if you stand off 20, they don't know you. They just know we steal their honey. <laughs> like a damn robber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Can you see any open spots on there now? Is that, is that hat going to stay on your head? No, nah, it'll probably fall off. There you go. I got him. Can you see any open spots where they could slide in? The There's one right by your butt. Huh? <laughs> like a long john's flap. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's down! <laughs> There's a big hole in the bottom. Okay. Oh. And he has the power of bees. Well, I'm gonna 20 or 30 feet, let's measure that out. Are you fixing to open those? This is just the cardboard I'm taking. I think I'll still want to be out. Do we already mix up that sugar solution? I'm not sure how much of it is in there still. Woo, there's a lot of them on the bottom. in there hmm. and this is a big chunk of sugar and they have to eat through that sugar to get to her and she's the queen. Oh, okay. she's the queen.
We're ready, Amy. Yeah. He said there's some other things he needs to get from the house. He said there's some other things he needs to get from the house. Does that got to go inside? Uh, yeah, no, it'll go right at the, at the outside. Oh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can... That? See, that's exactly what I was afraid of. Uh, it's just a little smaller opening than uh, the thickness of that wood. Uh. Mm-hmm. Help keep uh, other bees from robbing this colony. Huh. 